Good morning. Listen, this is the day that the Lord has made and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. And I say this because I want you to have a focus for the week, right? What is your focus? What is your plan? What is your purpose? What is your priority for this week? Is it to is it is your priority filled with yesterday's worries or is your priority filled with a future victory, right? There's a scripture in Luke chapter 10 41 through 42, and it talks about Martha, right? And how she was worried about the details of what was going on. It says, but the Lord said to her, dear Martha, you are worried and upset over all these details. Listen, I'm encouraging you on today. Don't be worried or frustrated about the details. Okay. That was just part of the scripture, but that part stuck out to me. Why? Because sometimes because of what happened yesterday or because of what happened last month or last week or last year, right? We're carrying these worries and God said, cast your cares upon me for I care care for you. Jesus directly said, Martha, listen, you're worried and you're upset about these details. I want to encourage you today. Don't be worried for anything, but with prayer, right? Communication with God. Let God bring peace into that moment where you're upset, that moment where you're frustrated, that moment where you're worried. Don't let that fear, don't let the anxiety about little things, right? That some things that you can't even change and you don't have control over. And even the things that you do, listen, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. So don't let anxiety and fear and worry prosper, but focus your attention on what is yet to come. Tomorrow is going to be a better day. Your best is yet to come. And God said he will give you perfect peace whose mind who stayed on him. So keep focused on the Lord and receive his peace on today. God bless you and have a wonderful Monday.